Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about nucleotide excision repair. In this series of lectures, we are talking about DNA repair mechanisms and how they are fixed. Today, we are going to talk about nucleotide excision repair. What is NER? Why NER is important? How exactly nucleotide excision repair is done? What are the enzymes involved in nucleotide excision repair? And more. So, stay tuned and watch it completely. So the very first thing that I want to uh, want you to understand is why nucleotide excision repair in, uh, is important because we already have talked about base excision repair. If you don't know what base excision repair is, I want you to go through my lecture on base excision repair. It's very important that you know base excision repair. Base excision repair is involved in a process where the DNA incurred error, error near nucleotide. For example, uracil that shouldn't be present in the DNA, but if it's present, then base excision repair is a process to cut out the uracil and new uh, nucleotides, deoxyribonucleotides are placed so that the error can be withdrawn. But in case of nucleotide excision repair, when we need to move from base excision repair to nucleotide excision repair? why we need nucleotide excision repair. Nucleotide excision repair is little bigger, it's little bigger than base excision repair because in base excision repair, the repair is done for one single nucleotide. For base excision repair, it's generally more than one nucleotide and generally it is caused due to a DNA lesion. Obviously, the lesion can also be found in uh, to, to be resolved in base excision repair, but the lesion uh, that is fixed in nucleotide excision repair is little, little bigger lesion. Example for such is that, let's say this is a DNA and uh, due to uh, environmental factors like UV radiation, due to UV radiation, what happens is that the DNA is damaged and it is damaged in such a way is that the DNA plus thymine dimer, thymine dimer structure forms. So, as the thymine dimer structure formed in the DNA means, you know, in the DNA we have A, G, T, C, right? We have all these four A, G, T, C. Now, the G is targeted by the UV and a dimer of thymine is created and due to the formation of thymine dimer, what happened is that a lesion like structure is, is formed, is formed in the DNA like this. So, this is a thymine dimer structure that is formed. So, when there is a thymine dimer structure formed in the DNA, we need to recruit a bigger machinery than base excision repair because this is no longer a problem with only a single base in the DNA, but more than one base in the DNA, more than two nucleotides. So, so this is this thymine dimer is a prime example where nucleotide excision repair is required to fix it. UV radiation causes this change to the DNA. Sometimes uh, some uh, uh, you know, uh, chemotherapeutic drugs also have a side effect to convert this DNA into, uh, you know, something else like like this this sort of complex lesions. So when there is this sort of lesions, these lesions can alter the way DNA is wrapped around itself because two strands are wrapped around itself to have a helical structure. So this helical nature can be altered. And when there is helical nature, the chance of helical nature being altered that is present there to, to reduce that. To, uh, to change that, that particular structure, we need to recruit nucleotide excision repair mechanisms to fix this. Okay? And here, I am going to tell you exactly the steps of the event of nucleotide excision repair and the enzymes involved in nucleotide excision repair and how they work. So, let us begin. We will start with uh, this, the first enzyme that is involved in there. And the very first job particularly is to detect there is a damage, there is this thymine dimer. And this thymine dimer, remember thymine dimer, this can be detected by a set of enzyme. And this set of enzyme that is involved in there is known as, they are known as endonuclease, known as excision endonuclease, excision endonuclease. Okay, and the excision endonuclease, uh, the example here, the example that is involved is XPC. Okay, this is an example of the enzyme, example of excision endonuclease that is involved to detect the thymine dimer in the first place and they remain bind to this thymine dimer. Then what happens is that the second set, the second set of proteins that will be involved, second enzyme that will be involved here, and the second enzyme involved here is 
हेलीकेज ना द सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंट जॉब इज टू अनवाइंड द स्ट्रेंड फ्रॉम इच अदर बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली दिस दिस प्रॉब्लम हैपन्स इन वन स्ट्रेंड नॉट एग्जैक्टली द अपोजिट स्ट्रेंड बिकॉज इफ टी इज प्रेजेंट देयर सो ऑटोमेटिकली ए इज प्रेजेंट हियर सो सो दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज ऑनली अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वन स्ट्रेंड नॉट दी अदर ना पॉसिबली दिस अदर स्ट्रेंड हैव अ थाइम इन डाइमर इन सम प्लेस एल्स इन द अपस्ट्रीम और डाउन स्ट्रीम सो वट एवर इज द प्रॉब्लम वी नीड टू सेपरेट द स्ट्रेंड फ्रॉम इच अदर इन ऑर्डर टू imply the nucleotide excretion repair so here helicase activity is necessary and the enzymes involved here for the helicase activity again is xp b and xp d both of them are involved in here and what they do is basically their job is like an helicase they require atp obviously the first step endonuclease is require atp the second step this xp b xp d they also require atp the job is to bind like a helicase and separate both the strands from each other so they are uh, unwrapped and they are separated once they are separated the third important step out there is separation is done after the separation you know the excision endonuclease bind to them so excision endonuclease will, will will cleave the fragments of the nucleotides out so when they cleave the fragments out from that area that area will become blank so obviously what happen is that uh, so we have this template strand and in the opposite to that we have this gap produced this gap need to be filled okay who will fill this gap this gap will be filled by new nucleotide sequences and that will be done by obviously dna polymerase dna polymerase will fill the gap okay filling of the gap will be done by polymerase gap filling done and the process of the dna polymer is also requires nucleotide like ntps dntps are needed so they require energy for this process also and the last step is once the gap is filled the nick will be originated obviously one 3 prime hydroxyl is extended by polymerase so the nick will be there in the opposite end so the nick should be sealed by ligase enzyme isn't it ligase will seal the nick ligase will seal the nick in here so the last step is done by dna ligase and the job of dna ligase to sealing sealing the nick and once the nick sealing is done ligase also require energy from atp hydrolysis so this way the process of nucleotide excision repair completes okay although there are some uh, some more complexity out there but i believe this portion if you understand the requirement of energy why it is important when it is important when it is done how it is done this is quite uh, enough for you to answer most of the questions for your masters your graduations as well as in csi net or any other competitive exams starting with the excision endonuclease like xpc atp dependent then helicase xp b and d atp dependent then polymerase fills the gap and ligase seals the nick but the endonuclease job the excision endonuclease's job is to detect the thymine dimer structures to bind to them and also recruit the process of endonuclease activity to break the phosphodiester bond it does that and that leads to the formation of gap the gap is filled by polymerase the nick is sealed by ligase in that way concludes the process of nucleotide excision repair which is a lesional repair or lesion that sort of dna lesion is repaired with nucleotide excision repair which repairs a little more stretch of the dna than base excision repair so i believe you have a clear idea if you like this video please hit the like button share this video to friends and and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future and if you want to understand every single mechanism of dna repair dna repair mechanisms then watch the series of lectures on base excision repair nucleotide excision repair methyl mismatch repair and many more thank you bye